an increase in terror attacks around the globe by the militant group calling itself the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria has sparked a debate about the Obama administration's plan to admit Syrian refugees to the United States. With the help of factcheck.org, we examine claims from the current presidential candidates as well as the president himself. What religion are the Syrian refugees? And what's astonishing, among the Syrian refugees who come to America, do you know that only 3% have been Christians? Why? Senator Cruz says it's, quote, astonishing that only 3% of Syrian refugees admitted to the United States so far are Christian. He's right about the percentage. But it is important to note that the refugees are referred to the United States by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. The vast majority of Syrian refugees in the U.S., 93%, are Sunni Muslims, who tend to support rebels opposing the Assad government. Sunni-controlled territory has been bombarded by the government and controlled by ISIS, resulting in a large number of Sunni refugees. What's the demographic makeup of refugees? You know, if you look at the refugee wave that is pouring into Europe right now, one estimate was that 77% of those refugees are young males. That's inaccurate and misleading. There are more than 4.2 million refugees, and only about 850,000 fled to Europe, 62% of whom are men. A UN spokesman says those referred to the U.S. would be among those remaining in the Middle East, such as in Turkey and Jordan, and those refugees are largely women and children. The refugees from Syria are no different in that regard. Uh, the overwhelming numbers who have been applying are children, women, families, uh, themselves victims of terrorism. That's true. 67% have been children under the age of 12 and women, according to State Department data. Are Syrian refugees steered to Republican states? Well, they send them to the Republicans, not to the Democrats, you know, because they know the problem. So in, in California, you have a Democrat as a, a governor. And in Florida, you have Rick Scott. Yeah. So, you know, they send them to the Republicans, because why, why would we want to bother the Democrats? It's, it's just insane. Taking these people is absolutely insanity. But non-governmental agencies, such as World Relief and the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, place the refugees, not the government. And those decisions are based on family ties, employment, and other factors, not politics. How many Syrians will be admitted? I am angry. The President Obama unilaterally decides that we will accept in this nation, 100,000 Syrian refugees. And when the president says things like, you know, through an executive order, I'm going to bring 100,000 people in here from Syria. Our president wants to take in 250,000 from Syria. All of those claims are false. By law, the administration could admit slightly more than 10,000 in fiscal year 2016. And no refugee commitments can be made beyond that. For more help separating fact from fiction on political issues, visit factcheck.org.